Happy Monday. I'm coming on with my no paper left behind for August. And I'm finished. What? Because we chose a small set this week, this little birdie set. And as you can see, I fussy cut the stuff around the top. This is left. And then this was also on the cover sheet. And I used everything on it except for this. And these words were really too small for you to be able to see. And that stuff's pretty small too. So that's why I didn't use that. But every other morsel got used. So all these will be for church. And then I'm going to try to get some other fun things done for a giveaway for the end of the month. So let me show you my cards. Okay, so you know I went on a beach trip and I made bows all the way down there and all the way back. So these bows came in very handy. And this paper was uh, like a wedding kind of paper. And I, and I said in the beginning that I was going to do all kinds of things to it to make it not that because, you know, I make cards for my church and they, they have to go in a different direction. So I distressed and I added uh, things and gilded and so here we go. Die cut. Okay, so this one says get well and I put these little die cuts. I stacked and it came with a sheet of cut aparts, but they all had wedding sentiments on it. So they're on a lot of the cards right here. And then I cut another smaller piece and put over it and went all the way around it with my um, gold gilding polish. And then that one looks like that on the inside. And that was one of the cut aparts. So there's that one. And then I found these flowers at um, Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And I was like, those match my paper pad. And then that's a die cut. This is a the Ed Punch Out Doilies. That's one of the doilies. And this came from some other sticker set that I had. And I thought, well, that's perfect colors with that. And that's what that one looks like inside. And then that same sticker set also had this little bird, which I thought was perfect. And here's some more flowers. And it had these banners. And so I put good job on there. Okay, and here's another get well. And again, I use the cut apart and another tag and I stamp get well. This is a die cut, one of my bows and some apples because it's a get well card. And that one's got a little apple inside. Okay, and here's a sympathy card. I use a die cut, one of the doilies, die cut that. Put some flowers and a bow at the bottom. That's what it looks like on the inside. Here's a get well. Same thing with the cards. Die cuts, a bow. Little piece of ephemera. I can get under there and open it up. That's what it looks like on the inside. These were um, on the cut on the fussy cut page. A laugh is like a smile that bursts. These are die cuts, little flowers. There's a flocked black bow that I made. That's what that one looks like on the inside. This one has like a little welcome mat. And here's where I fussy cut one of those. And then here's where I use the strips and just piece them together. Put this little bow and those little leaves on there. And it also looks like that on the inside. It looks like it has somebody's hair right there. Doesn't look like mine. It's not girly enough. Okay. And this one. It doesn't have a sentiment at all. But it says hello. So I guess it does have a sentiment. So that's kind of like a greeting card. That's what it looks like on the inside. One of my bows. This one says hi also. A watering can with a doily and a die cut. Another bow. And I distress the doilies. That's what that one looks like inside. Here's this one. Hello sticker and I added the little sequins um, 
confetti to the corners, layered that up, layered up a die cut. That's what it looks like inside. This one, I used a doily, which I very carefully hidden from myself. I could only find one. And back when Hobby Lobby had a huge sale on them, I got them in all kinds of colors and I thought, oh yeah, I can use those. Hmm. I have hidden them very well. And I looked in all the places that I deemed would be logical for me to have put them and I can't find them. So anyway, so there's a dolly and I gilded it and I die cut that. That's one of my bows. It says hello. That's what it looks like inside. Here's another one with a cup of tea. It says prayers. Just layered. I put that on the inside for an extra little note. There's another one. It's got a kitty cat that matches and the confetti layered up with the die cut. That's what it looks like on the inside. Here's a thank you card, layered up again. That's a die cut, that's a little sticker. That's one of my bows. That's what it looks like inside. Here's another one. Layers and die cuts and bows. and That's what it looks like on the inside. So thank you. That's what it looks like on the inside. Congratulations. A little bow. Here's one of them that I pieced and I used the, this was the border off of the front cover that was just like a demonstration of what that looks like in real life. And so there they are. And then I used the cut apart to put on either end of, this was the example of the doily sheet so I used it for a piece of paper in the middle. Same thing with these two and my pieces. That's pieced inside. Actually, this is not pieced inside. This is the cover that showed the different patterns that you get inside. Now I use this one because I think it, I mean, I can read it with love and best wishes. So you could use that for any kind of a thing in these little bird um, books with a little bird on it. And this was one of them that I layered up, put this banner across the bottom and put a piece of the top of the um, main page on there. And then those are pieces that were getting smaller and smaller. So I added that to the top and the bottom. Here's one with a little rocking chair. And uh, this is a stamp that I have. So I stamped it and then um, cut it out. And then that's the doily, a die cut, another little sentiment. Where there's love, there's life. And a little bow. And that's a die cut with another piece that I just cut to lay inside of it. Another cup of coffee or tea or whatever that just says prayers. And I didn't put a bow on it because I, well, I don't know what the flowers. I was gonna say maybe it could be masculine, but you know, everybody doesn't like a frilly bow. So there's that. And here's sympathy and I combined it with copper, which I think really turned out good, which surprised me really because, you know, basically it's silver and gold or gray and gold or however you wanna look at it. But I think that turned out really pretty and simple. That's what it looks like inside. With brave wings, she flies. I thought that's a very encouraging sentiment. A little birdie on the nest and the bow. That's what it looks like inside. And then here's my last one, and it's a congratulations card. I cut this die out, put the doily on it, gilded it. That's a die with a little um, confetti and congratulations. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And there we go. I've got 25 cards for church, just like that. So, I hope y'all enjoyed. Stay tuned. Um, the kids go back to school next week. So, 
I'm going to start doing tutorials and maybe craft with me's and I think I will try to use up a complete six by six also. And then with that, I'll do some giveaways. Okay. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week. You all are always in my prayers. Be sweet to each other and everyone. Blessings.